Over the years on The One Show, we've filmed many treasures within our British waters. From blue sharks... She's right beneath me! ..to a living reef of tube worms. That's really beautiful. The colours are exquisite. And the bizarre and wonderful flame shell. And there we oh are! My God. <laughs> For our latest challenge, we wanted to take a closer look at one of our strangest underwater animals, Dead Man's Fingers. So we turn to cameraman Andy Jackson, who specialises in filming our most unusual marine life. If, if I was a cameraman on land, I'd have to go halfway across the world to find new stories. But actually, in UK waters, there's lots of new stories and there's lots of exciting wildlife. For this project, Andy's been filming at a sea loch on the northwest coast of Scotland. Oh, well, Loch Caron's just absolutely stunning. We've got flame shell reef, we've got uh, dead men's fingers, and then we've got beautiful purple mill beds as well. The key stretch of Loch Caron is called the Narrows. Here, nutrient rich water is channeled by strong tidal currents. This makes it very hard to dive here, so divers have to enter at slack water when the currents are at their weakest. That only gives one hour for a dive. But a lot can be seen in an hour here because the rich water means that the seafloor is covered in a fantastic array of life, including large yellow clusters of the animal that Andy's looking for. Dead men's fingers are found fascinating. They're actually a soft coral. So you have a, a fleshy body that holds a colony of polyps together. The polyps are individual, but they can act together en masse as well. Andy's used specialist macro lenses to film these polyps, just a few millimetres long, as they capture tiny plankton from the water. I think when you see the polyps on a dead man's finger in macro, they're absolutely stunning. But over the course of numerous dives, he's found that the dead man's fingers have a predator. A sea slug. You see them approaching a dead man's finger, uh, and the dead man's finger actually senses the danger coming, and it pulls all its polyps in simultaneously, so the whole thing retracts and uh, tries to protect itself. But Andy's most exciting discovery was hidden deep within the polyps, where something barely visible to the naked eye was moving. I saw this tiny little creature. It's a shrimp-like creature, an amphipod. So small, you couldn't see any detail. Uh, and I just wondered what it was doing. Using his specialist lenses, Andy discovered something remarkable. It's actually, as far as I can make out, pinching food off the polyps which I don't think has ever been seen before. So, you know, that's a prime example of uh, photography, asking questions of science, really. Through his persistence and skill, Andy's filmed a microscopic world that's never been seen before. There's a perception that our, our coastal waters are mucky and wildlife's not very colourful and everything's drab. Uh, and that's just not the case. So you know, it's a bit of a quest to go out there and, and convince people you know, that what we've got is worth protecting. 